Hey guys, this is Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak an iPod Touch 4G, an iPhone 4, or an iPad 1. And uh, this is the iPad 1. You can see right there. And uh, I forgot to mention, it also supports the iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch 3G. But of course, 5.0 is tethered, so um, this is not going to be the best jailbreak. But people still want to do it, especially for that Siri port. Um, that's mostly the reason why I'm jailbreaking my iPod Touch 4G right here. Of course, my iPhone 4 already has the Siri going on it. You can see right there. If you want to see that video, it's down in the description. And I will be making a video with Siri on my iPad Touch 4G. But uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak 5.0.1 Tethered. Now, what Tethered means is that whenever you turn off your device, you have to use Red Snow to boot. Otherwise, the device will not boot up. So, um... It's kind of a tricky situation um, unless you don't use your device primarily. So I would not suggest this for people who have iPhones with their primary device and they're not around computers all the time. Where if, um, say I use my iPhone 4 primarily, I could deal with a jailbreak, um, a tethered jailbreak, just because I'm always around computers, whether I'm at school or um, I'm at home, so I'm always around computers. But someone who's not around computers often, their device dies a lot, or they just uh, turn it off a lot, a Tether Jailbreak would definitely not be for you. Um, if you want to know more about Tether Jailbreak, there will be a link in the description to learn more. And uh, so yeah, um, we're going to get right on into this. This is my iPod Touch 4G, and uh, this is on 5.0.1. As you can see right there, it's a 5.0.1. This is a black iPod Touch 4G. And I'll verify that. Black iPod Touch 4G. This is an old model, but this will work for your white iPod Touch 4G. And again, this is tethered. And uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So what you're going to need is um, you're going to want a typically fresh restored device. And again, this works for all the other devices. But I'm going to be showing you um, this on the iPod Touch 4G. So um, again, I would suggest a relatively fresh restore if you updated from a jailbroken state or you just have a lot of crap on your device. I would suggest going away from that just because it makes it very complicated, it makes a long jailbreak um, process. So right here I have a fresh jailbroken, uh, I mean fresh restored iPod Touch 4G and uh, we're going to be jailbreaking it. And we're using Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 9D. So uh, there are a lot of releases for Red Snow. But this is the latest build and I'm going to go ahead and open this up on my Mac. And this tutorial tutorial can be used on Windows. Um, it's not really a Mac or Windows thing. Um, it's going to work the same. Uh, really the only difference if you're following this on a Windows machine is if your X button is on the left. I, I mean uh, if your X button, button is on the right for Windows. Uh, so in case you get really confused, that's the only difference. So we're going to go ahead and open up Red Snow. You're going to get uh, Red Snow in a zip file. You're going to go ahead and extract that. If you don't know how to extract it, I say just give up right there. Um, so anyways, you have that folder. Um, I, I have it on my desktop. I just opened it up right here. And you're going to see boot iPodTouch4G.command credits, and redstone. So you're going to go ahead and double click that. Whether you're on Windows or Mac, we're going to go ahead and click open. So from there, we will see this window that pops up. There is extras, which in here, we have the just boot option, Pwn DFU mode, which helps when you uh, try to downgrade or install a custom IPSW, a recovery fix, which allows um, if you have these weird errors, it may work, it may not. Uh, SHSH blobs will uh, fetch uh, blobs. Of course, this will not help you uh, downgrade if you don't already have those blobs. Um, and then select IPSW, that's if you're uh, manually selecting the IPSW. Um, so in case 5.0.2 were to come out, you could go ahead and select 5.0.2. 0.1 and it may or may not work. Going down to custom IPSW, if you're more more advanced, you can make custom IPSW and uh, yeah. And then in preferences, we have ECID, boot ARGS, boot logo, and uh, more of this stuff is more advanced. Um, you're just going to need to be familiar with just boot, uh, maybe pwn DFU mode, and recovery fix. But uh, definitely just boot. And uh, we're going to go all the way back to the very beginning. May have to close it um, if this is too complicated. 
close it, and then reopen it. So at the main window of the screen, you'll see jailbreak, and you're just going to want to go ahead and click that. From there, you'll have these instructions, which is going to tell you to go ahead and please turn off your device. So let's go ahead and do that. And from here, you're going to want to make sure your device is off, plugged in to the computer. Um, and then this is going to guide you to put your device into DFU mode. Again, it's kind of sounding repetitious. So we're going to go ahead and click Next um, right here. And at the same time, we're going to be uh, putting the device in DFU mode using the on-screen prompts. So we go ahead and click Next. Hold the lock button and the home button. I'm slightly behind just because I had to click that next button and then go over to here. Um, but yeah, so you want to just make sure you get these steps in and uh, if you don't get it the first time, go ahead and retry it. Um, from here, it's just going to go ahead and detect your device in DFU mode. Once Red Snow has detected that your device is in DFU mode, you will see the, uh, this, um, your device, uh, Red Snow will go ahead and go do its thing. Your device will power on with this, uh, this lit up screen. And now it's just going to process, do all that good stuff, and I'll speed it up for this part of the video. So right here, we're going to have uh, install Cydia, install custom bundle, enable battery percentage, and enable multitasking gestures. Multitasking gestures are when you uh, four, finger, four fingers to zoom out, up, or uh, to swipe between apps. Um, it was released in the iOS 5 and the iPad devices. So I'm going to go ahead and enable battery percentage, and I'm going to install Cydia. From here, we just click Next. So here's the device, it just turned back on, and if we go ahead and slide to unlock, we will see that we have a white Cydia icon, and uh, yeah, so you're, um, if you don't know they have to tether boot right after you jailbreak, well you do, um, you, so you try to click on Cydia and it doesn't work. So at this point, if you don't know that you have to tether boot, you're feeling kind of ripped off. So you're going to go ahead and do the same process again. To turn off your device. We're going to go back over to the computer and we click back, back, and uh, if you can't figure that out, go ahead and exit out of the application and reopen it. So now we're going to click on the extras tab and you should be very familiar with this tab if you're using your device primarily. So you're going to go over to this just boot section and from here you're going to want to make sure your device is off plugged in to the computer. Um, and then this is going to guide you to put your device into DFU mode. Again, it's kind of sounding repetitious. So we're going to go ahead and click Next um, right here. And at the same time, we're going to be uh, putting the device in DFU mode using the on-screen prompts. So we go ahead and click Next. Hold the lock button and the home button. I'm slightly behind just because I had to click that Next button and then go over to here. Um, but yeah, so... You want to just make sure you get these steps in, and uh, if you don't get it the first time, go ahead and retry it. Um, from here, it's just going to go ahead and detect your device in DFU mode. Right there, and here we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed up this process. Alright, and our device is completely powered on. And this is the second time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and slide to unlock, go over, and we see that we have an icon. So, uh, yes, um, success. We have a Cydia icon. So we go ahead and click that, and we'll see it wants you to click user, hacker, developer. Um, you should be fairly familiar if, um, with Cydia if you're doing this tether jailbreak, but you go ahead and pick your uh, filter. So from here, Cydia is fully functional. But again, if you turn off that device, you're going to have to run Red Snow using that Just Boot tab. And if you ever get confused, there are links in the description, or you can re-watch this video. So guys, I hope you like this video. And if you're still watching and you want to know more about the Siri port for the iPhone 4, it is fully working, in fact. And um, you will see a video down there in the description or an annotation somewhere around here. Uh, so again, the reason why I am restoring uh, this to 5.0.1 and uh, 
installing uh, Jailbreak is because I can show uh, you guys Siri on the iPod Touch 4G. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped all of you guys out there trying to jailbreak your devices. And I hope it was a little informative on the tethered jailbreak part. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if I didn't already say it. And follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.